Hi everyone, it's John Mitchell, Mayor of New Bedford, and this is another installment of the Mayor's Weekly Update. So this week we had our school district convocation, uh, the kickoff of the school year with a big assembly uh, with all the faculty and administration of the school district. It was, a, it was a good time. It was a way of getting everybody pumped up for the school year. Uh, and to forget about the fact that it's the end of summer vacation, but it's a tradition uh, here in New Bedford that uh, we continue to honor. And, and uh, the school year is starting now. Uh, sorry, kids, for uh, that summer vacation is all done. But uh, school, the beginning of the school year is really a turning of the page. It's really an opening up of new opportunities, uh, not only for students to learn something, most importantly, but also for faculty uh, and the administration. Everybody works in the school system to teach you kids something. So uh, it's really exciting. And uh, we're thrilled that this year that we've got the pandemic in the rearview mirror and we can look forward to um, a school year, a full school year, in which uh, we can uh, press on with the business of educating uh, our children. Uh, we've got to still have a learning gap to close uh, left over from the pandemic, and that will be important. But uh, you know, more than anything else, we want to make sure that uh, everybody feels reengaged in the way that you know, we used to just a few years ago. So um, we look forward to that work uh, through our uh, team, Interim Superintendent Andrew O'Leary and Interim Deputy Superintendent Darcy Angst. Um, look, we look forward to their work and uh, a great year ahead. The second thing that I wanted to talk about today is um, uh, what we're doing this weekend. Um, State Representative Tony Cabral and I are going to the island of Fayal, uh, part of the Azores, and more specifically to the city of Horta, the capital of Fayal, to celebrate a couple of things. One is the 50-year sister city anniversary between uh, Horta and New Bedford. In 1972, Mayor John Markey uh, went to Horta and signed the agreement uh, at the urging of then Ward 5 City Councilor uh, Manny Netto, uh, who was a, uh, a native of Horta. And it really solidified, it formalized the relationship that had gone way back to the whaling days when uh, whaling vessels from New Bedford stopped in, in Horta to get provisions and to unload uh, product. Uh, the uh, connection led to a whole wave of immigration uh, from Horta and the rest of the Azores to New Bedford and to southern New England more generally. The, the other thing that we're uh, going to be commemorating is the, uh, the 65th anniversary of the passage of the Azorian Refugee Act. This was signed by President Eisenhower in 1958 and uh, having been sponsored by then Massachusetts Senator John F. Kennedy. And it was in response, the legislation was in response to the eruption of the Capolinos volcano on the island of Fayal, which caused massive destruction across the, the island. Uh, the, uh, that led to, uh, again, they led to the act and the act opened the doors up for uh, an enormous Im immigration of Azorians uh, here to the U.S. and more particularly here to the New Bedford area that, frankly, we benefit from enormously today by the bad fortune of this, this volcanic eruption. Uh, it was New Bedford's enor enormous benefit to have the, the, the talent and the hard work and the character of uh, thousands of Azorians to, uh, to grace our shor shores here. And, and uh, that's something that we benefit from um, today. And I, I just uh, we're so proud of what uh, Azorian immigrants have achieved in our city and more generally in the United States. And we looked this weekend to, uh, to meet with the, the mayor of Horta as well as the president of the Azores to, uh, to uh, cement those friendships even further. So it's, a, it's an auspicious occasion and we look forward um, to it. The last thing I just want to say is um, for the rest of us who are remaining back uh, here, uh, happy Labor Day weekend. Um, happy Labor Day in particular. Thank you to everybody who gets out there and, and puts in a hard day's work. That's this, this holiday is for you. Um, and with all that, this has been the Mayor's Weekly Update. We'll see you next week.